What is up everyone, Axe here, back for another Steam game review, and today we're going to be checking out Rogue Legacy. When I first started playing Rogue Legacy, I noticed two things immediately. It was kind of simplistic, and it was pretty hard. But the more I played the game, the more I got hooked in. While the concept isn't anything mind-blowing, the game does a pretty good job of keeping things interesting, while throwing in all the things you'd expect in a good roguelike game. The game packs hack and slash combat with action platforming in a Metroidvania-style map that starts in a castle. Each time you enter the castle, the layout is different. This means you could wind up with an easy path or a grueling one depending on your luck. You can find treasures, challenge rooms, bonus areas and more within the castle and all the other areas around it, and you also have the option to lock a given layout if you like it. Each character has a number of unique traits. Some affect their combat skills while some impact the game in other ways. For example, certain characters are tanks with a lot of HP while some have vision problems, and this affects how the screen looks. Whenever a character dies, they become part of your legacy, and you choose a new character. As far as combat goes, you use a sword and various magic spells. These include time freeze, throwing knives, teleportation, giant swords, flaming barriers, and more. You can find better swords and armor as well as runes which give you new abilities. These include things like dashing, increased gold find, life drain, and more. I really like the leveling system too. As you gain levels, you watch your mana grow. And yes, all points apply to any member of your legacy. It will be easier to name off the things you can't level up than the things you can. Gain stat boosts, unlock new characters, and increase your chance to defeat the bosses and progress through the game. Graphically, the game is pretty simple. There's only a small selection of enemy sprites with recolorings and resizings allowing them to create a larger amount artificially. They did give each one their own unique abilities, so in that aspect the game works well with what it has. I almost lost interest in Rogue Legacy at the beginning, but I'm glad I stuck with it. It's extremely fun and addicting once you start leveling up, and I may even upload more gameplay of it on my channel in the future. Everyone's legacy is different, what will yours be?